All right, so you've got a pile of footage for your next YouTube video, a social media piece, a spec commercial, a short film, whatever it is, and you are pumped to get started. You rip the SD card out of your camera, shove it in your brand spanking new Mac studio because you are dying to chop some broccoli. And then you open up Finder and you hit a little snag, a little roadblock. You gotta organize all this stuff before you can get to the fun part, which is editing your video. You've got audio, your video files, photos for your thumbnail, screen recordings, that Apple event video you ripped from YouTube. You've got all this media and nowhere to put it. Now maybe you do know where to put it, but for some reason you always build your folder system from scratch every single time you start a project. Same goes for Final Cut Pro. You create new events, new folders, new keyword collections, new smart collections from scratch every single time. Why? You need to stop this insanity and start using Using templates, a folder template for Finder and a library template for Final Cut Pro. Now where in the world might you find such a thing? Well, let's jump into the edit bay and take a look at what I do for each and every video before I start editing. All right, so we're in the edit bay and we're talking about Final Cut Pro and Finder templates. So this is what some of you might be doing when you set up a new project. You create a new folder, let's just call it YouTube vid, and then you need to create folders for all your assets. So it's gonna be video and then audio, And then maybe you call this folder exports. And you create all these folders every single time you start a project. Same thing in Final Cut Pro. You go to File, New Library. And then you have to start creating different folders and keyword collections from scratch. If you're doing this every single time you start a new YouTube video, you're really spending a lot of time that you don't need to spend in this process. So what I've done is I've created Final Cut and Finder templates that I can use every time I start a project. So let's take a look at Finder. In Finder, you can see here that I've got a Shorts template and a YouTube template. And this template is just a series of empty folders that organize all of my media from documents, which contains notes and script, project files, which has a folder for Final Cut Pro and Logic. Like right now I'm using Logic to record my vocals for this video and I'll sync it up in Final Cut to the video. There's a media folder that has audio, content, film, graphics, screen recordings, and stills. And in some of those folders, there's subfolders yet. I've got a folder for my thumbnails for my videos and then a folder for the final video that I export. So it's really nice to have this every time you start a project because instead of creating all these folders, what you would do is you would come here to your template folder, you'd select all these, hit Command C to copy them, and then just paste them into the new folder and you're ready to go as far as your folder organization goes. From here, you can start importing your footage, your audio, your music, whatever your assets are for your video project, and then you have a place to put them and you know exactly where that stuff is from project to project. Now, within my template here under Final Cut Pro, I have a Final Cut Pro library template. And this is a library file that I can use every time I start a new project. And all I have to do is rename it. And we'll just say that this is episode 155 and we'll just call it YouTube vid. And when I double click this to open it, I already have all of these events and all of this organization created. It's a blank slate for me to start importing from Finder and have the exact place I need to put everything from stills, graphics, screen recordings, whatever it is I need. I also have under my project event, the projects that I'm going to potentially use for this video. Now I like all my YouTube videos in a two to one aspect ratio, so I have one for this, but on the occasion where I'm gonna do something in UHD, I have a, a 24 frames per second 4K Final Cut Pro project. These are just an empty project where I can immediately start dropping in footage or media to begin the creative process for that video. Now some of these also contain smart collections, and I won't go too deep into that, but those smart collections allow me when I rename my files for my media to automatically have those files on import go to these different smart collections so that they're already sorted into collections that make it easier to find while I'm working. If you were to create this organizational structure every single time you start a YouTube vid, it's gonna take you five, 10, 15 minutes to do it. And because that creates such an obstacle, what it tends to do is it tends to make you organize even less. You just create a couple quick folders, maybe it's footage, audio, finals, whatever it is. But then you have other stuff that doesn't really fit in with that, whether it's a screen recording, stills, graphics, logos that you pull, other things that need their own organization. So again, these templates are a really handy tool to get you that shortcut to the creative process. Now you can't argue with the efficiency of that. You're saving time and you're preventing yourself from getting ripped out of the creative flow by a clunky process that's time consuming, mundane, and really just boring. Use templates as a shortcut to 
get you to the fun part, to keep you in the creative flow so when you transition from shooting to editing, it's as seamless as possible. Now this video is, in a sense, sponsored by me. I sell my Finder and Final Cut Pro templates on my website, and you can purchase my Finder template for $10 and my Final Cut Pro template for $10. I also have a bundle that includes my Finder template and two Final Cut Pro templates, one for my main videos and one for my shorts and TikToks. You can purchase that bundle for $25. Now I've got the link to my store in the description if you want to purchase these templates and no worries if you decide you'd rather use what you've seen of mine to build your own Finder and Final Cut Pro templates. It's all good. If you do decide to purchase, it does go a long way to supporting the channel so I can keep cranking out filmmaking and Final Cut Pro content to help all of you level up your content creation. Now, if you like this video, you might like my Final Cut Pro and workflow playlists. You can click either of those right here. Thanks so much for watching, liking, and sharing this video. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. And don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.